So, welcome to all of you in the next class of uh, this course. As uh, you have already seen how to go ahead for numerical methods for initial value problems. In today's lecture, we will implement those numerical methods or difference scheme to solve initial value problems with the help of software Octave. Though you can also solve those problems in MATLAB software, I mean that the codes which I will be uh, giving you here, they can be implemented in MATLAB software also. But MATLAB is a commercial software and Octave is a freely available software that uh, you, you must be knowing because you have handled with Octave in the previous part of this course already. So, that is why if some of you are having MATLAB, you can run those codes in MATLAB. Otherwise, you can download the Octave and you can run those codes because Octave is freely available software. Though in MATLAB software, you have some flexibility, but still the codes which I am giving you can be run in MATLAB simultaneously in Octave as well. Okay, so, if you remember from our previous lectures, we have taken one examples which is this, yes. So, we have that considered the following linear initial value problem y dash is equal to 1 minus 2 x y, where right hand side was 1 minus 2 x y and initial condition was arbitrary y 0. So, in today's lecture, we will focus on the following example of initial value problem and we will try to solve this initial value problem with different numerical methods which we have already studied in previous lectures. So, let us I have already I already have a code with me. I will try to explain each line of this code to you so that you can type on your own code and you can go ahead with it. So, initially let me start with the comment which I have written which is very easy. So, this is a differential equation, same example I have typed in the comment part of the this code and there it was a arbitrary initial condition y 0. Now, because to solve it numerically, we have to work out for a particular value of this initial condition which I have considered is 1. Okay. So, after that uh, CLC clear all, close all, you are all, you must be familiar with all those commands in earlier part of this course. So, I am not going to explain all those commands again and then I am defining the function in the following way f is equal to uh, which you can see from here f is equal to at the rate x y 1 minus 2 x in multiply by y. This is the way how I can define the function and then initial point a is 0, b is 1, y a these are some variables a, b and y a which I am choosing in the following way. Okay. So, and uh, after that I am choosing a sample point n which is equal to 10, 20 and 40. For a time being initially I can take only 10. Okay. And then another variable which I am considering is a step which is equal to 1. And then after that we are using the loop for loop. You must be already familiar with these concepts that is why I am not again re explaining those concepts. For j is equal to 1 into length of n. Length of n I am using because later on I will be working out with the array of n, but right now I have just considered one single value of 10. So, length of n does not make any really big concept here. Okay. And then whatever algorithm of uh, Adam Bash fourth method with different order those uh, algorithms I have implemented in the separate functions whose name is Adam Bash fourth. Okay. So, that is a very good programming practice that whatever you should decompose your program into a smaller component and for each component you can write down your function. Okay. So, Adam Bashforth is a name of a functions and the argument of this functions which you can observe from here is f which is a function a, b, y, a, n, j and 
step. I will explain you the meaning of each argument uh, later on. The meaning of f is clear to you, a is a initial point, b is the uh, uh, point where you wanted to compute your solutions okay. and uh, y is also a final time, n j is the total number of a grid points mesh size which I was based on and you can also define h. Basically, h will be 1 by n and step. Okay. So, step basically means which method you wanted to choose under the Adam Bashforth category. So, accordingly I have implemented this algorithm in Adam Bashforth function which I am showing you now. So, again the prototype of this function is this which you can observe from here function z is equal to Adam Bashforth and arguments are f a b y a n and k. Okay. So, here again I have commented each thing that f is the right hand side of a given differential equations, a and b are the starting and end points, y is the solution at initial points. Okay. Yeah y is the solution at the initial point and n is the number of step, k is the step of Adam Bashforth. So, here I am explaining you the meaning of each argument which we are passing through Adam Bashforth in the main program. And then we are defining h is equal to b minus a by n and x also we are defining x is a array which we are defining 0. So, basically if you see we are taking this mesh from 0 to 1. So, A is 0 and B is 1. Okay. So, H 2 H this way we can keep going. Okay. This is the mesh we are choosing to compute the solution of a initial value problem. Okay. So, and after that again we are taking the concept of a loop for i is equal to 1 into uh, column length of x and then we are sampling the exact solution which we already know will be in the following form. Okay. So, this is a this is the exact solution of a our initial value problem. We are also implementing exact solution so that we can compute the error. Okay. And then we have chosen if uh, else command to categorize based on different steps. So, if k is equal to 1, so basically step is it means step is equal to 1, then uh, as you uh, with the help of again for loop we are implementing the same algorithm which we already know y i plus 1 is equal to y i plus h into f x i y. So, this is the algorithm of Euler methods which we already know. Okay. So, in uh, this uh, Adam Bashforth dot m file you can see how I have implemented this algorithms. And then what we are doing we are also computing norm of infinitive norm ok infinitive norm. So, norm is a inbuilt function in octave or MATLAB which computes the norm of course, default is 2 norm, but here I am explicitly after comma I am explicitly mentioning inf. So, this will be infinitive norm. So, y exact is a exact solution and y is a numerical solution. So, we are basically computing the norm of infinitive norm of the error or you can say maximum norm of the error. Okay. So, now that is it. So, just by computing the error uh, we can find out whether our difference scheme is 
correct or not, we are going in the right direction or not. So, for that reason I am running my program ok. So, if you see here what is error rate undefined ok. So, basically I will show tell you what is the problem. So, I want my code to be run only this till this point that is why I have just typed some arbitrary number. So, that error should come naturally and code should stop. Yeah. So, error j k has come ok. So, now and uh, if you see what is the output of this code Adam Bashforth output is in the form of z. So, basically z is the error which if I type it here I should see what is the error. So, you see the error is 0 0.08 and in our opinion ok this is the error corresponds to n is equal to 10 or we you can say corresponds to h is equal to 1 by 10. So, how we have studied the convergence of a difference scheme that as h tends to 0 numerical solution should converge to exact solution or basically error should converge to 0 that is what we have already seen in the our previous lectures. So, for that reason I will also show you how error behaves with respect to reducing h. So, if I am reducing h it means I have to increase n that is the reason that I was taking array here. Okay. So, basically uh, here I am taking h is equal to 1 by 10, 1 by 20, 1 by 40. Okay. So, I will compute the error corresponds to this h. Of course, each time I am h is half than previous value. Okay. So, h is 1 by n. So, now I am also removing this uh, j k which I have typed earlier to stop my code. So, yeah. Now, the error will also be in the vector z. So, error is also stored corresponds to h is equal to 1 by 10, corresponds to h is equal to 1 by 20 and corresponds to h is equal to 1 by 40 which you can see from here. So, as expected corresponds to h is equal to 0 0.08 uh, which I can write down here. So, the value which I am getting this corresponds to h is equal to 1 by 10.043019 corresponds to h is equal to 1 by 20. 0.021358 corresponds to h is equal to 1 by 40. Okay. So, as expected error is decreasing, error is decreasing with respect to h tends to 0 that is what we call it as a convergence of a difference scheme or numerical method. Convergence of difference scheme or numerical method. So, we have verified that forward Euler method is converging by taking one particular example of a initial value problem. In fact, if you want to see you can also see by taking this n. Okay. So, here in fact error will be for error not will be error should be further reduced. Okay. So, that is what you can type z here and you can see. Okay. So, if you want to decrease 
the error further you have to increase and you can go beyond 320 that is up to you but i have just given you the flavor how you can verify that whether your difference scheme is converging or not with the help of one particular example which we have already discussed in our lecture class okay okay so now because just by computing error rate corresponds to one h we don't guarantee that our difference scheme is converging converging means as s tends to 0 error should tends to 0 and that we can observe provided we have worked out for different value of h or n okay that's what we have done with the help of following examples and further basically if we want to compute the rate also uh, that also uh, these are just uh, some commands i have given to put the x label and y label in the figure and then finally with the help of a loop we have also computed the rate which you can observe from here so basically now if you see here rate when i run this code basically you will see the rate here so rate is first so what it means that forward euler method is first order accurate okay first order accurate that's what we have done with absolute value of log 2 z j plus 1 and z j so basically we are dividing the error at two different h and then we are taking the log on both sides so that's how we will get can compute the rate formula so rate is first order accurate that's what we have proved theoretically also earlier and this is we have plotted error versus in y axis we are plotting the error and in x axis we are plotting h so as from the figure also you can observe the same thing which we were earlier looking at the command window that as h tends to 0 so basically we are moving to this side our error is tending to 0 so if you want to drop your error further you have to work out for a smaller h and n will be uh, increased okay so then computation will also be increase so that you have to decide yourself that you want how much error okay how much accuracy you want so rate formula is also given in the following way which you can observe from here rate j at particular uh, step is equal to absolute value of log 2 zj plus 1 divided by zj z is the error at j plus 1 and means at the second uh, i mean to say that when i am going from here h and then 2h so we are basically dividing the error from this to this okay uh, no sorry this is h and then we are working with 0 to h by 2 h when we are working with half okay because uh, we have saved uh, the value of z corresponds to j for each h okay so that's why here we are writing zj plus 1 divided by zj so now this uh, if we remember forward euler was the first example or first category of a adam bash fourth method which corresponds to step is uh, first step method and the order was also first order accurate so we have verified this now let's work out for a second category of a adam bash fourth formula which was corresponds to step is equal to 2 because it was two step method and why i am choosing this step correspondingly i have implemented different algorithms for step 1 is and for step 2 in the functions adam bash fourth that's why i am taking this variable step is equal to 1 to choose forward euler step is equal to 2 to choose uh, another difference scheme uh, 
which uh, we will see in Adam Bash fourth because we are not calling it that by no that was just called as a AB2 method. So, here let me type out a step is equal to 2 and then if you see if k is equal to 1. So, the second choice is if k is equal to 1 second choice is k is equal to 2. So, for that reason our difference scheme if you remember let me type here also what was that or I can show it uh, in our lectures also. Yes, this was the schemes. So, y i plus 1 numerically we are choosing i instead of n. So, that does not matter that is just a variable. Okay. This is the difference scheme a b 2. Of course, it is a two step method that is why I am choosing it corresponds to step is equal to 2. And one thing about this is that it is a multi step method sorry here I have written n it should be also be i and it should also be i it is a multi step method. So, that is why to if I am starting with y 0 first I have to compute y 1 with the help of some another single step method and then I can compute y 2 with the help of this method that is what I have implemented this numerically also. So, initially from y 1 I am going to y 2 with the help of forward Euler method itself and from y 1 I am going to y 2 with the help of a b 2 the difference scheme of this a b 2 is given by the following which I have implemented here y i plus 2 is equal to y i plus 1 h by 2 3 f y dash is basically f which I have written here and minus f. Okay. So, if I will give the value of a step which is basically k here. So, that is just a different name. So, the value which I will pass with the help of main in a step will be taken by the variable k and if I will give that as a k is equal to 2. So, these quotes which are which algorithm which I have written in else part will get executed which you can observe now because I am running main program with the variable step is equal to 2. Okay. So, that is uh, again uh, I have worked out for different h, h 1 by 10, 1 by 20, 1 by 40, 1 by 80, 1 by 60, 1 by 320 because you can see the array of n correspondingly h is basically 1 by n which we can observe from the program. So, what will be the error which you can also see from here after typing z. So, you can see how much accuracy we could achieve by increasing n or decreasing h. So, that is called the convergence of a a b 2 which is a Adam Bashforth method of order. 2 order 2 also we can verify numerically just by looking at the rate which we are also computing in the following program. So, rate is also close to 2 as expected. Okay. Rate is also close to 2 as expected which we are computing here. Okay. But the only thing is uh, we uh, a b 2 is a two step method. So, we have it is not self starting method because from going from y naught to y 1 I have to use some another single step method and for that reason I am choosing forward Euler method here. Locally forward Euler is order of 
h square that is why total error will not, uh, be order of h square as well. Okay. Because when you are working with a multi step method you have to be really careful how you make a uh, how because these methods are not self starting. So, you have to be very careful in choosing the method when you are uh, going uh, for some initial approximation like how you are going from y naught to y 1 and then if it is more than 2 step then you have to uh, compute y 2 also because you can start from y 3 that is the nature of a multi step algorithms etcetera. So, of course, I, I have implemented just two different algorithms of Adam Bashforth corresponds to step is equal to 1 and corresponds to step is equal to 2 corresponds to step 1 it is a order 1 method corresponds to step is equal to 2 it is a order 2 method. But if you want you can also implement uh, other high order methods under this category, but as far as uh, this code is concerned I have just implemented for k is equal to 1 and k is equal to 2. So, it should be very much clear to you, because you cannot give arbitrary value of a step here, a step is equal to 3, then also a b 2 will run, because that thing I have given in the else part here, if you see. Okay. So, it will run for any value of k, k but the algorithm which we are implementing for any value of k is just a b 2. So, you have to modify this code if you want high order difference schemes under Adam Bashforth category. Okay. So, basically we have seen one method of order 1 and another method of order 2, which was a two step method and how to implement that two step method that also we have seen. Now, we will be looking Adam Moulton's formulae or Adam Moulton's methods. So, for that reason I am commenting Adam Bashforth and I am opening the comment part of Adam's Moulton. Okay. So, here again I have written the different name of the function which is Adam Moulton's. The argument of this functions are again remain same as I have already discussed in Adam Bashforth and the output is also error which is stored in the variable z. Okay. So, now I am opening the functions Adam Moulton's. Moulton's again uh, what are the meaning of these argument that also I have explained in the comment sections. Of course, sims w you can ignore because sims does not sims is the only thing which I have observed it does not work in older version of the octave I do not know whether it uh, runs in the latest version of octave I have not tried but other things are ok. F is the right hand side of a given differential equation, A and B are the starting and end points, Y is the solution at initial points which we were choosing 1, again N is the number of a steps and K is the step of, again here it should be not K is the step of Adams Moulton. Okay. H is again defined in the same way, X is also the array and Y 1 is Y A. Again Y exact will remain the same because we are solving the same initial value problem. I do not need to repeat that stuff again and corresponds to step is equal to 1 which is K is equal to 1 corresponds to trapezoidal method. So, the algorithm of trapezoidal method we already know. Uh, I can also show you in our lecture part. So, basically this y n so y i plus 1 is equal to y i plus h by 2 you can see from here also y i dash plus y i plus 1 dash. So, which is also called trapezoidal method or 
a n 1 ok a m 1 first method of this category. Hmm. It is again a single step method, but if you compare this with the other methods, this is a implicit methods. Okay. This is a implicit method that I have already explained in our lecture classes, why it is implicit method. So, for k is equal to 1 again the same algorithm I have implemented here. So, which you can observe from here y 1 into this 1 minus 2 x i in the right hand side and then again same algorithm which I have written here I have imp implemented here. Okay. And then we are computing the error again the error will be a difference of exit solution and numerical solution, we are computing the norm, infinitive norm basically. Okay. So, now if we wanted to see the output, we have to come to the main. Okay. So, again here I have to write a step is equal to 1 okay. and now I have to run the code. So, let us see how it behaves of course, correspond. So, what I am ok. So, here again let me type out the error sorry z error is stored in function z. So, let me type out z you can observe that z is ok. So, you can see so again the z stores the error corresponds to different value of h which I have already mentioned here in the ok. These are the values of z corresponds to which errors are here. So, again you can verify that error is tending to 0 as h tends to 0, which you can observe from the graph also. So, basically in the last figure also I forgot to mention what this black line represents and what this red line represents. So, which you can see that here we are this is in the log plot, red line is basically the error, actual error and uh, uh, here uh, with the black is uh, this is the order we are plotting. So, this you can see from here red is the actual error ok, red is the actual error and this is basically order of h square line in case of a second order method or order of h line in case of a first order method. Similarly, you can superimpose this line depends on the order of the method which you can see from here we are plotting log log h z and then with the red lines and then h again this is basically order of h square that is why I have when I am taking a step is equal to 1 in case of a Adams Moulton this corresponds to order is equal to 2. So, that is why I am uh, plotting the line order of h square. So, both are parallel it verifies that our method is second order accurate. Similarly, as I told you I forgot to mention in case of Adam Bashford which I can show it again. So, just by commenting this line and uncommenting the previous one and here because if it is a step is equal to 1 in case of Adam Bashworth it is a first order method. So, we are line should be parallel to the line h ok. So, that is what you can see and in fact that is why here I have written a step plus 1 when I was choosing Ad Adam's molten formula.
Okay. So, because in case of a first order line it should be order of h, in case of a second order the line which it should be order of h square. So, both the line should be parallel that is how we can verify the order of the method also numerically. So, this is the right way to observe graphically otherwise if you want you can also see by typing z. And then let me change this step size to 2 and then basically if you remember which algorithm we will be implementing because that is we can see from here yes Adams Moulton's family. So, the AM 1 is this which is a trapezoidal which we have already seen and AM 2 is this basically which let me also write down here. minus y i ok. Okay, so, now you can check that whether we have implemented the same difference scheme or again in this case I have implemented two difference scheme corresponds to k is equal to 1 and corresponds to k is equal to 2. If you wanted to go for higher order method you can modify these codes ok. So, y 2 is basically this, this is the schemes. So, again if you observe this method, this is again y i, y i plus 1, y i plus 2. So, this is again not a single step method. This is also a two step method. So, first we have to compute y 2. So, that y 2 we are uh, predicting with the help of T s 2 method, Taylor series method of order 2. That we have also mentioned in the commented part that how we are computing y 2 using T s 2 method. Okay. So, we have implemented the algorithm for T s 2 as well to predict y 2 because y 2 corresponds to basically y 1 if we start from y 0 initial conditions if we think in that way. Okay. And then once y 1 is known to us we can compute y 2, okay. but actually indexing in MATLAB does not start from 0 that is why y naught corresponds to y 1 and y 1 corresponds to y 2. Okay. And from here onwards think will starts y 3 onwards. Okay. So, this is again I have made it clear how we have gone from y naught to y 1 with the help of T s 2 method and now the reason should also be clear to you why we are choosing T s 2 method not uh, forward Euler methods because so that the total order of the method should be consistent. If I am choosing a low order method to predict y 1 that error will dominate in the uh, uh, final part as well. So, that is why to have a consistency in the order of the method I am choosing it with T s 2. Okay. So, because as you can see step 2 implies order 3 that is why we are choosing T s 2 otherwise there will be inconsistency if we choose low order method and that error will be dominated then there is a no point because if there is a uh, low order accurate method in predicting the value of y 1 and that error will dominate in rest of the computation. So, there is no advantage if we are choosing higher order method for subsequent values. 
Okay, so that is why initially also I said that in a multi step methods you have to be very careful how you choose the initial approximation. Of course, that initial approximation should also be with the consistent method and that is why in the previous when I was taking a step 1, I have chosen two step method we have seen in case of a Adam Bashforth and then we have seen forward Euler and now we are predicting with the TS2. Okay. Why there is a difference in choosing uh, forward Euler in case of a Adam Bashforth of step 2 and in case of a Adam Moulton's of step 2 because this is a order 2 method and this is order 3 method. Okay. So, now if I run corresponds to step is equal to 2, of course, here what is the expected order is 3 that is what we are also plotting step plus 1 step 2. So, both the lines should be parallel that is as expected. Yeah, so that is what you can see here. You can if you want you can also type z error is tending to 0 as h tends to 0. If you want to see the or you want to observe the same thing graphically graph is also in front of view again the red line is the actual error and black line corresponds to the line or h cube because this is order 3 method or h cube. So, that is what we are doing here. If you wanted to see the rate, rate also which is close to 3. So, in this case also we have verified that our method is third order accurate. Okay. Now, we are going to the third category of the method which we have learnt in previous lectures. I am commenting Adam Bashforth, Adam Moulton's because I am explaining you all these different categories with the help of same main program that is why I am doing the same thing. Okay. So, now Nistrom method, in Nistrom method if you remember what we have learned in the lecture class. So, we have seen only one category that was leapfrog or midpoint and the same category we are implementing here. If you wanted to see high order methods under this category, you can again modify these codes and implement yourself. So, for that reason let me also open this M file corresponds to Nistrom method which we have made. Okay. So, again uh, because in this case I am implementing just uh, one difference scheme. So, that is why we are not taking argument as a step because we are not working out with different steps we are working with just leaf frog that is why that argument is missing here step which is intentionally. And now if I see the function name Nistrom which is here. So, again the function prototype is in front of you and all the meaning of all the argument is same except a step which is not here and the reason also I have explained you just now. Okay. So, again you can see the algorithm which we have implemented is okay, y i plus 2 minus y i is equal to 2 h y i plus 1 dash. Okay. So, again this is a two step method, I have to choose some another method to go go from y i to y i plus 1. So, for that reason again because the final order of the method is 2 and uh, the local truncation error in case of a forward Euler is also 2 that is why in this case also I am choosing forward Euler which you can observe from here. y 1 is 1, y 2 is predicted by using Euler method, everything is commented.
and then the final difference scheme which we have implemented is here okay which you can observe from here and again we are computing the error and then this error is as an output which we will get in the main function we are basically interested in error but if some of you wanted to see how the numerical solution and exact solution look like that also i will explain you later how you can plot those exact solution and numerical solution basically both of them should be consistent so this is i can press one though it is a irrelevant corresponds to nistrom but why i am uh, modifying this step is equal to 1 just so that or uh, h square line should be plotted parallel to the actual error because the order of the method is 2 that's what we have seen so again if you want you can also see the error error is tending to 0 as h tends to 0 if you wanted to observe the rate which should be close to 2 as expected okay okay so now I am commenting this because in this category as I have already said we have worked out only one difference scheme Milne's Simpson's formula. So, we can check in the slides corresponds to Milne Simpson's formula what we have done basically we have uh, implemented for k is equal to 2 we have implemented this difference scheme which I am writing again here y i plus 2 minus y i is equal to h by 3 ok. So, which is nothing but the Simpson's rule. So, again here that part I have written in the comment that this will corresponds to order is equal to 4. So, now let me open the file Milne Simpsons So, here also you can see we have implemented that algorithm here ok and uh, initial value you, you, you can uh, predict with TS1, TS2, TS3, but that you have to decide which you should choose so that the global error of the method remain consistent. The order of the method which we expect from Simpson is order 4 that is why we have chosen u t s 3 if you want previous one but then that error will be dominated so again we can again in this method because we have worked out only with one difference scheme step is irrelevant and now if i open milne simpson's method here also step is is not taken as an argument because of the same reason because we have implementing only one difference scheme ok. So, here also if you want I can if this is order 4. So, here basically I should type it 3 so that h 4 line should be plotted of course, step is not as an argument in Milne Simpson as well like Nistrom. So, here also you can see if you want you can separately type out z very good as because this is you, you see how fast error is tending to 0 because this is the highest order method which we have implemented 
so far. Earlier methods were either 1, 2 or 3. This is the highest order method which we have implemented and the result of that highest order is also visible to you. Error is tending to 0 very fast. Okay? So, here also uh, z that also you can observe graphically that error is uh, of course, as a, when s tends to 0 and the maximum error which we achieved by taking h is roughly order of 10 to the power minus 11, which we can observe from here also and rate should also be close to 4 that is what we have can see in the comment part and here also by typing which is also here. Okay. So, that is the analysis of uh, every difference scheme under different categories Adam Bashforth, Adam Moulton's, Nistrom, Milne Simpson's we have done. We have verified numerically the order of each difference scheme. Okay. So, if we have determined the order also, we have also seen the how these difference schemes are converging with respect to one particular example. Of course, if you wanted to work out with different uh, examples, you have to change this right hand side correspondingly you have to change in the functions also, because in functions also sometimes to predict T s 1, T s 2, we have also computed the derivative of the right hand side. So, correspondingly you have to change in all those four routines. Now, if you wanted to see how this exact solution and numerical solution look like, so, in that case what I will suggest you to type this command. So, basically plot I am plotting the exact solution and let me also plot down the numerical solution here plot x into y. Okay. So, yes, so now I can run, I will also see the exact and numerical solutions. Okay. Why these different figures are coming? Because I am choosing uh, different n. So, let us work out for a particular case where I am achieving the maximum error. So, this is basically 320 and I have chosen only. So, rate will not make any sense and your code will stop here. Again some arbitrary thing I am writing so that my code should stop here. Okay. So, of course, this is only one particular H, H that is why you do not see the line which we were seeing earlier because it is corresponds to only one particular H. So, this is figure 1 is the exact solution and figure 2 is the numerical solution. So, this is just to look at the shape how this numerical solution is behaving both of them are consistent anyway that we can observe from this figure and very uh, fine details if you wanted to observe about the numerical solution and exact solution. So, for that reason you have to plot the error also. So, that error also if you want you can plot it. Okay. Uh, you do not compute the norm of the error, instead you plot the error. Okay. So, instead here, here itself in separate figure we can plot the error. x into z. Oops. 
so let me run so that you can see okay the magnitude of the error which is roughly same because the function is quite smooth okay so if you wanted to observe the behavior of the error with respect to 0 1 that also you can check by plotting error because here we are taking the norm of the error corresponds to 1 h okay so i am closing now so in today's lecture we have seen how to implement explicit schemes implicit schemes as well as two step methods okay for a linear problem okay so thank you very much